Is classic hardcore falling apart? What's happening here? Classic WoW hardcore has been exploding in recent time. Everybody's True. playing it. The streamers, the casual players, the hardcore players, <laughs> they're all hopping on the trend. People who haven't played the game in a long time, they're hopping on hardcore. True. People who've never even played WoW before are trying out hardcore as their first experience. But with all these players all in this one server, there's a lot of in-game politics and drama and even some That's catastrophes. The best stuff. But the question we're asking today is the hardcore community falling apart before the servers even come out. So let's talk about what's going on and I'll give some of my opinions on some things and I'll go into detail on some things and for other things, I'll try to just keep it brief. My apologies okay. if I forget anything major. I'm just talking about the things that mostly interest me and I have opinions on. Makes now let's sense. start by talking about what hardcore even is in the first place alone. All right, that question alone, We've already started an argument amongst the masses. In the current add-on, you're True. only allowed to party up for dungeons, and you're only allowed to do those dungeons one time until you hit level 60. And there's absolutely no trading, auction house, mailbox, none of that until you hit level 60. Bag gate. No trading. Bag gate. But even then, you can only trade, and you can trade freely at level 60. Now, the argument is that these rules are only in place because we can't control who plays on Blizzard servers. If they allowed trading, there would be people trading with non-hardcore players, and bots would just be running around everywhere. Now, Blizzard announced their rule set that will be forced on the official hardcore realms, and the arguments... People are gonna be so pissed when they die of disconnects and lags. ...started to stir. So on official realms, it looks like there's gonna be no restrictions on trading and partying, but the dungeons will have a daily lockout. Now, I'm not as invested okay. in these servers as I know some people will be, but for the most part, I kind of like these rules. I feel like the rules are good. I think trading and grouping is fine. That's pretty casual. I think the only people who are gonna be against the, uh, that are gonna be like super pure Yo, you can't do that. Like, come on. It doesn't matter do you grind outside or inside a dungeon. It's honestly the same thing. If you are US, oh yeah, obviously you're gonna probably wipe five times in, you know, veiling caverns because you're just that bad. But if you're European, you're fine. And as long as everybody and all the loot that is involved is hardcore and nobody's died along the way. I know a lot of people won't agree with this, but for me, the perfect way for this server to be done would be for it to have been a super unique RP server. I'd allow free trading and grouping. You can do all that you want, but the dungeons and raids, they only have one lockout ever. They never reset, no weekly, no daily, nothing. I just think it'd be funny to see. That would never work. <laughs> That would absolutely never work. Like, what's the point going going to a raid knowing that when you kill the first boss, you, the, the, the guild master or raid leader is literally just gonna ninja literally everything and there's nothing you can even do about it? Yeah, that would probably be a disaster. If maybe a, a guild could possibly beat Kel'Thuzad and beat Naxxramas with only one chance at loot. I don't really know if it would work out. I haven't thought about it too much, but I just want to see if it would happen. It'd be kind of funny. Because if would you kind of think about it, on the hardcore servers, you only have one life, and if you die, you're dead for good. So why shouldn't dungeon bosses and raids also have that same mechanic where they also only have one life? They're also... I mean, he, the man has a point. Say what you will. So hardcore on this server. Now, I know everybody won't agree with that, and that's fine, but I, you know, hey... That's my idea for what would be fun. I think everybody should be able to play how they want to play. That's fine, all right? What I don't like is when people flip the definition of hardcore. Because a lot of people, mm. you see, they just want to play solo self-found, which is mm. also fine. But not when you want to force everybody else on the server to play solo self-found. If you're a VO player and you know, don't know what solo self-found is, that's literally just uh, no trading at all. For you to have fun. Solo self-found is a personal challenge. Hardcore is something you can do with other people. So it doesn't hurt to have other hardcore people playing on a server where you're doing solo self-found. But True. it does hurt to force solo self-found on a server where people want to play together. Another big subject of debate has been appeals. Appeals have been a big part of the hardcore community so far, and I definitely feel it's needed for griefing and, you know, bugs and disconnects. Now there 
What do you think is going to be the percent of play people leaving official hardcore the moment their character dies and they understand, wait a minute, I'm not getting this back. I was level 30 and I just died to lag or disconnect and I'm not getting it back. What, what, how many do you think will... I think like at least 50% of the player base is going to leave after the first death. There is people who will abuse the appeal system, but there are people who legitimately died to something that was out of their control and wasn't their fault. But Blizzard has told us that on the official realms, nice. there will be no appeals. They don't have the resources, you know? You know, if only there was a team out there of people who are doing appeals on a hardcore server that Blizzard could hire. If only... If only Blizzard had money. We're talking about a small indie development company that is struggling to put... Uh, to get the lights on, Coddle over there needs to code how battlegrounds actually work and make them playable, but he's being eaten by rats. It's not an easy life being an indie development company struggling to putting food on the table, okay? You can't ask them just to hire people. It's impossible. Hey, there was that team out there but there's not. So that means when you're being a moron and you die in Dire Mall, you can't just put in a ticket and say it's a bug anyway. Because if you die on official, you will never resurrect. And I think Blizzard saying this had maybe encouraged another set of players. That's uh, a problem yes, we the evil about, ones. The griefers. Now, griefers have been a big part of hardcore for nice. some time now. Whether it's a stealth rogue trying to bait you. Admittedly, I don't like griefers like this, but I, uh, this is my theory, okay? I think hardcore will end the moment people are slowly start to get bored and they will just wipe raids intentionally. You know, the guy who ended hardcore, the, uh, the small violin or what, what what his name was, that guy who intentionally did it out of pure, pure vigilant, vigilante justice for against people who didn't take weren't in the spirit of hardcore. Yeah, that one. That's gonna happen sooner or later because, okay. If you're gonna quit World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, you're probably not coming back, okay? So, might as well just take everyone along with you in the raid. Because, you know, one small mistake. Oof. <laughs> it's gonna be good. And I think that's gonna happen when people start slowly, like, being like, Hmm, I don't wanna play anymore. They're, they're gonna wipe raids. It's gonna be beautiful. So that you attack them and then they can kill you super easily. Or it's a hunter dragging an elite mob across the continent so that he can kill people nice. in low-level zones. Or maybe it's another rogue and he's stealth waiting for you to turn in a quest that'll flag you for PvP and he can nice. kill you and get away with it. No matter what it is, these griefers were running around like terrorists. But I will give it to Blizzard. They're doing a fair enough job. I mean... If someone is literally willing to spend 12 hours a day waiting at a quest giver that flags you for PvP for completing a quest, and there's maybe like two people in a week that actually do it, I think he's completely in the right, because his life, well, his life cannot possibly ever have meaning most likely, so you know, let him at least have that much, okay? To camping of uh, camping an NPC for 12 hours, getting like one successful kill uh, in a week. I I think I think that's dedication that deserves, you know that that's dedication that deserves some kind of compensation. Baba changing up some systems to combat these griefers. Like now you can't fight another player unintentionally. You have to purposefully turn on PvP before you can attack another player. And what? if a hunter's trying to kite a mob around, well, he can't take it out of that zone. So there will be no more dragons being dragged out of blasted lands to be taken to okay. Stormwind. There will be no more Duskwallow Marsh dragons taken to the Barrens either. These changes okay. will be good, and they'll combat 99% of griefers. But what we didn't account for was that hardcore would bring out some real monsters, some real psychopaths. The beautiful like You thought ones. the guy from South Park was bad. Nah, these people, they're real. Because there was an incident in the Flying Necropolis 
of Nax Ramus. Oh, this now, is I don't want to get too one. much into the morals of what happened, of if they were right or wrong in what they did, but there was a gentleman in Hardcore WoW who joined a guild, raided with them weekly, learned, progressed with them, taught them stuff when he knew more than them. He nice. played other games that weren't WoW with them on random nights. And this man Disgusting. waited until the guild was on the final night of progressing Nax Ramus. And keep in mind, no guild had beaten the raid in Hardcore yet. And on the four horsemen, he perfectly executed executed the ultimate grief killing 30 the fifth horseman one might say six out of the 40 members of the group and why not on kelthazad the final boss it's well hard, zeliac he pretty much has an ability that doesn't care if you use petrification he just kills you anyway. So he knew that his raid members couldn't get away and this was the only opportunity. Now Blizzard said they're gonna have a no tolerance policy when it comes to griefing and hardcore. And they've already been griefing a ton oh, of players no. on the unofficial hardcore servers. So I don't know if this guy's gonna get banned because obviously he's playing it off like he didn't grief. But in total, it feels like the number of griefers have already lessened. Small violin did, this, did, did a service to the world. He did what was right. He did what must have been done he was justice when there was no justice unless they're trying to gain an army together for official that we haven't seen yet so who knows if that guy is gonna get banned he did get banned off the of twitch though and talking about that whole incident reminded me of another hardcore political debate the flask of petrification should it be allowed does it take away from the spirit of hardcore yes to have that safe button just in case yes you know, i kind of think yeah it does but at the same kind time of. i don't really think it's a big deal i think if anything they should make it be on the same cooldown as your other potions so you can't just spam it if you mess it up the first time and it actually could mess up and you could still die even if you have it but again it's not a big deal to me either way but another big problem I think it's cheap. Problem I think that hardcore has in the add on era is people cheating. And when I say cheating, I don't mean Bag Jones getting a bunch of 10 slots. I'm talking <laughs> about people whose characters did die and either did some workaround on the add on or messed with the add on's files to say that they never died. And I've seen it, and I've heard many accounts of this happening. But True. on official, this won't happen, because when you die, you just can't resurrect. But it also weed out more players, because they'll be stuck at the lower levels now. So in my opinion, I think Classic WoW faces a huge problem with all these things put together. With no appeals, and griefers getting permanently banned, it doesn't really leave a lot of room for drama. And if I know anything about- <sighs> What do you mean, doesn't leave any room for drama? We are gonna have so much drama, it's not even gonna be funny, boy. There's probably gonna be uh, one drama for every 0 0.5 events. Classic WoW, if there's no drama, nobody's gonna talk about the game. And sure, all the streamers and content creators are gonna play the launch, and the masses will come from the hype. But how yes. much of the community will be left on these servers after a month? After Are you kidding? After a month, after like the first two days, because most of them are gonna die at the first day. Okay, when they're gonna die on level 5 in some kind of cave? Okay, they're gonna re-roll. But when they die the second time in that cave, they're gonna quit the game. That is 100% what's gonna happen. Like, 50% of people will quit the game the first time they die, I think. And, like, 80% of people will have been uh, exhausted, aka deleted, after the first week, most likely. And then it, that's going to be pretty much the cutoff. Six months after a year. Does anybody see Blizzard keeping these servers up for multiple years? No. Nope. Now, before we go today, I do want to talk a little bit more about my personal thoughts on hardcore and my plans for playing official hardcore. I've never really taken hardcore serious while it's been on the add-on, just because of there being other non-hardcore players on the server. I didn't really see the point. And I also decided I'm not going to take hardcore official very serious either. Hardcore is a game mode that, to me, every character feels 99% like it's going to be a waste of time because I'll die. But yeah. hey, if I'm not taking it. Well, in, in things like hardcore, dying is part of the fun, so you, you kind of need to understand that. Serious, and I'm just trying to get content and have a good time and make some friends along the way, then maybe it's not a waste of time if I'm making memories and having fun. I plan to play a warrior at first and maybe tank some dungeons, but I fully Bruh. expect to die, and when I do die, I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to make a hunt. Dude, that's the US thing. Again, Every hardcore death compilation I have seen ever, 
is just, oh, look at that, it's the U.S. players wiping and, uh, wiping and scuttle at Monastery. In 20 years of my life, how many years have I raided Scarlet at Monastery? And I have never seen a wipe. I have never even heard of a wipe. And yet for the US, it's like the roll of the dice. 50-50, uh, are you gonna make it out alive of that dungeon or no? That's why people want... That's why there's achievements for <laughs> uh, doing dungeons in the classic, well, uh, hardcore add-on. Because for, for being US, that's like an achievement to survive two dungeons in a row without a wipe. Wow. Hunter, and I'm gonna enjoy myself and try to get some fun weapons and kill bosses. And maybe get some cool loot like the Ravenger Axe. Since no. warriors don't need it, they can get Bone Biter, which is better. But yeah, maybe I'll one day decide to just play it safe and go all the way to 60. But if I ever get to 60, I'm never stepping foot in a raid because I don't want my character to die. Anyways, if you made it this far- But what are you gonna do with your life now that you're 60 and not going raids? Again, it's, it's kind of- pointless to do that i think but whatever Far in the video let me know your plans for hardcore or if you just don't care at all about it see ya hmm. subscribe yes you should subscribe to me in any case this was quizzer said said thanks for watching subscribe and already and have a nice day bye bye